we've got spoilers ahead. If you're considering playing this yourself, now would be a good time to stop watching. Large light bulb. It's the sun. Back in the house. There were things that needed burning. Maybe we can find some more alcohol. I guess that was not her saying that last time we saw that message, technically. It's a sink. There's nothing in the fridge. Okay, that was the closing the fridge sound. It's like, what was that noise? Static, gray static, or color bar pattern. <laughs> Ad finitum. I wonder where that light is coming from. Won't turn on. It's a little tree. It's actually a tree, not decayed and dead. It's a mirror. Just a toilet. And they have working water now. It's a metal bathtub. actually made it here. I guess you win, twin. I'll tell you how to save the world, then. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb, and... I'm just humoring you. I know you've been getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Are you still planning to save the world, twin? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you even figured out what this world is? I told you at the beginning your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico is the only thing worth saving here. Ellipses. Well, the final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. <laughs> you only have one shot, Twinch. If you choose to smash the light bulb, 
the Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of this sacrifice. At least, tell Nico the truth. You do care about Nico, don't you? taking a while. Guess this elevator leads to the top of the tower, twin. This music's weird, man. Which is understandable, I suppose. Are you excited, twin? We're finally gonna save the world. And I know it's for real this time, because you're here. And then, I'll get to go home for real this time, too. Can't wait to see everyone again. Are you okay, twin? You seem a little quiet. Yeah? Listening. Kind of awkward phrasing, but that's okay. We can't save both. What? What's that supposed to mean, Twin? To send you home, we must break the light bulb. What? But won't that... But won't that in the world? <laughs> I don't want that to happen. So... What happens when we save the world? What happens to me? I don't know. You... you don't? It isn't that great of a world. That's true. That is true. Below looks so small. This is filled with robots trying to get water. <laughs> there were multiple robots trying to get water samples. That is, that is very much the case. So this is where the sun belongs. If I put the sun in here, we'll be able to save the world, right? But if I want to go home, I'll have to break it? Oh. 
twin? What should I do? What's the right thing to do? Hole. No, I'm not gonna leave leave this in the hands of you jokers. I mean, if we deem the world not saving, we can come back and smash the sun later, right? Oh, jeez. You're right. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, twin. I, I promise I'll be okay. lady was as well, a George. There's, um, <laughs> uh, what are, the <laughs> brother's name began with C. <laughs> it's a weird name, I never remember. And there's red. Or silver. Don't actually know. It had like a robotic eye up there, so I'm just guessing it was red. But... There's Profit Bot. So also interestingly there is that you can probably go through this without uh, dealing with maze properly. So, first we just try relaunching the game. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. That seems, uh, seems correct. Alright, um... Now, uh, let's see. I mean, they, they can't just go around calling me the god of this world if, uh... I'm not going to be the god of this world, you know? You say I only have one shot, but, I mean... I trust your judgment, Twinch. Uh, also, also. 
Little thing I checked. This is why I checked these things. Looks like you completed your mission in the world. And... I understand. I know you wish to return. But the entity called itself One Shot for a reason. That restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible now. At least, for me. I do not know the full extent of your powers. So pardon me if this sounds foolish, but if you would be so kind to test something out for me. A log of your saved progress may exist somewhere on your machine, maybe in the same location as this journal you are reading now. If the saved progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it from its current location. A simple deletion will do. Again, I apologize for not knowing the extent of your powers. What I described confuses you. I'm sorry. So this is actually sp we're basically supposed to read this after what we're looking at right now, I think. But uh... Twinch, what happened? It's very dark in here. Oh. I can see a light at the end of this passage. I think I hear a voice, too. Mama? I can hear her calling me. All I need to do is pass through this wall. I'll finally be home again. Uh, Twinge, I guess... I guess this is goodbye. I'm glad I got to meet you, Twinge. Thank you for everything. She, she walked out the window. Just mildly uh, amused at uh, how much more interesting this choice was than like um, Life is Strange, which was a super obvious choice to me. <laughs> Wasn't to uh, to a lot of people though. Fatal error. Savior not found. Shutting down. So assumedly we cannot just relaunch it directly, right? Yeah. Implied it would be in this folder, but it wasn't. But, I mean, you've got it over here. Uh, let's uh, make sure that doesn't uh, say anything different.
Not even in the same location as the general leading man. But, well, then again, he's theorizing, right? He's just, uh, he's just guessing. Where the hell's the other save file, then? What? What if I delete the save file and then look at the Clover file again? Is that, uh, gonna do anything different? Specifically? No. Maybe in the same location as this journal you're reading now. But nothing in there has been modified. What about in the subdata folder? No, nope, nothing in there has been modified. <laughs> Clearly it's hiding in the, uh, the fonts folder, right? This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents my game's one-shot. Look for this symbol. Once it is active, pre please relaunch the game. See you soon. Beard stroke? Beard stroke? Was that supposed to be on, like, my desktop changed to that at some point? Because I don't think that happened. Is that something that could actually happen sometime later? If we already played through it a second time or something? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I did not move the uh, Clover program from its original place, no. Oh, that, that Clover program is also in uh, the My Documents folder. That's apparently where it expects you to find it? Well, we'll, uh, we'll look at that stuff. Yeah, because it... well, no, so it copied it over to that folder later because this wasn't there before. Yeah. This all wasn't there before. See, now I'm also wondering, like, is what we're talk- what we're looking at now, would that- does that happen- does this be created with both of the endings or not? I- I don't know. Um, anyway, let's, uh, I guess we're taking a look at, uh, all of this stuff over here. We- we were, like, doing the fancy level save file manipulation, and the game just wanted us to do the regular level save manipulation. And, uh, the game didn't expect us to look in the actual game's install in Steam for some reason. It's a pretty logical place to look, but... Um... Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's take a gander. So we've got this README, which, uh, came into this folder at the same time the Clover did, so that, uh... This looks like the normal README. Hey guys, we're, we're playing one shot. The, the game of that we're playing is one shot. I don't know if you were uh, you were aware of that. Yeah, this was made with RPG Maker apparently. I, I'm mildly surprised RPG Maker can uh, actually handle this because it tends to be pretty limited. But so it's a little curious that the README file was copied over there too. Does this look like anything in a uh, text file? Not especially, no. Nico dot do your thing. Is that uh, how the code's written? That's kind of awesome. <laughs> I mean, the author exists outside of the uh, the world. Should I restore the uh, hidden save files I deleted? Because it did seem like it already restored that. It does note my uh, my time zone. 
There, there were two things that seemed like they might relate to uh, my actual personal time. So that uh, isn't too surprising. Alright, well. Uh, let's just throw that over there. Let's check. Oh, this didn't restore. Let's, uh, let's restore that. We want, uh... Just our most recent? Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Sure. So put that back there. Uh, DLN, what choice did I pick? Both. They can't go calling me the god of this world repeatedly and have me not pick both options, I feel. That uh, just seemed like the way to go, really. Uh, the currently active option should be destroying the, the sun. That should be the currently active option. And, uh, let's launch this game again. <laughs> okay, it showed the not destroyed the sun, uh, scene, and then immediately closed, rather than, like, staying open for a second. I think it's, like, confused with the save file and stuff, though. And, uh, well, it, it showed that for, like, half a second, and then, um... Uh... Then here we are. Alright, well, let's uh, see what else. Okay, so it's got rid of uh, the little. Uh, the first file it uh, made. Let's uh, see if the author. The author doesn't have anything else to tell us right now. Not uh, through that uh, exe, anyway. Oh, it, said, it told me to have the clover active before relaunching the game. The wallpaper that I didn't actually get as wallpaper told me to do that. So maybe I should do that instead? Oh, yeah, we. Okay, that makes sense, DLM. Um, so, for, uh, for reference, um, we, we had the, um, the Clover program already running. Uh, this, this guy, well, technically, uh, from the, what, this folder here, but. Um, we had the, uh, the Clover program running already, and it, uh, it immediately, uh, changed, uh, once things started happening. So, there was, we, we never even got the desktop change to, uh, to this right here. So we only found this afterwards when he told us to, uh, you know, kill our save file in the folder you found, uh, this program, but we didn't find it there. We found it here, and there's no save file here, so I was very confused for a minute. But, uh, we, we didn't do things the way the, uh, the game intended us to, but... Well, let's, let's at least, uh, humor this for a minute and, uh, see... If anything uh, will happen with that, uh, yes, we we could say the game is New Game Plus. I am dubious how interested I am in full New Game Plus, but I did uh, feel that way about Undertale at first as well. So. Okay. Things are immediately different. Th hello? Twinch? Th wait, why did I say that word? Twinch? Why does that sound so familiar? Do have my interest at least somewhat peaked, game? Do have my interest somewhat peaked? Hmm. 
<laughs> the password's different this time, too. Okay, okay. So, I mean, there's the README file there. I can open up two copies of Clover. That's not doing anything. Very long. Alright, seeing if anything else is there. Clover's not doing anything. So this is from the README file, would be the uh, hint that I'm getting here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15. It's probably not actually 16 characters, it just gives us that many characters. That ending was my second choice, Yellen. Uh, intentionally my second choice. Because I, I already knew I was going to do both. Alright, well let's take a look at the README file then, if the hint is documents, because this is all that's uh, in documents, right? We've got the uh, the Clover, the README file, and uh, nothing else here. Um, we could try just README as the uh, password, honestly. Let's try that. Start, uh, start it simple. Access to nothing. I mean, that, that's like all you can say about that, right? You can't actually explain any of that. Features! Unusual gameplay features. Let's just walk around the area a little bit, see if anything else, uh... Actually, let me try Solstice. Let me try that, too. Um... Actually, how... Was that was, that was all lowercase, right? On the, uh, the Steam page stuff. Uh, let's take a look. It wouldn't really make sense for, uh, for documents, though. Let's see, so slash... Yeah, it's all lowercase. There is a slash here. There's supposed to be DLN? Cause no, no, this is this is that folder right there. Documents by games one shot. And I'm not uh, really sure how our finagling would have prevented those from appearing, but uh, um, I mean I looked in there too. Uh, <laughs> not that one. Uh, so, Oh, did I actually only... I only went back to here. I, mi I thought I went back to here mentally, and I didn't. Right. Okay, and this is still here. That has not been changed. Okay, I'm just a dumb. I, I specifically thought I had looked here, and I had not. It looks like you were able to remove the restriction. In that case, you are ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course, depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what you should do. I confess, it will be risky. The probability that the entity's condition will worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then... Then... So there's S.O. All caps, I guess. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what you should do. Ha! Look at me. Asking you for favors, only to become so apprehensive once you agreed. I understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered. I understand if you do not believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you are simply afraid of what might happen, because I'm afraid, too. If you enjoy the world as is, if you are satisfied with the story as is, 
If you really do not want to see anything change, for better or for worse, then pretend you never saw this. Carry the session as you normally would. Do not use my journal for anything other than what you were already familiar with. This option will always remain for you, though. That's why I implore you to consider the Messiah, the world, my children. They all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. It is Solstice, but without the slash. Oh, come on! What? I, try, I even tried Solstice! I tried Solstice, but it, it, the, I had the slash in there, because it has the slash listed, and there's, there's, you, you see this, this, this right here, this, this, the slash is underlined, the slash is underlined for emphasis, just like this is bolded, italicized, put the slash in, it only made sense to put the slash in. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. I believe this is the same. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Your actions here will affect Nico. And most importantly, no, this does not feel right at all. Have we already been through this, Twinch? But that should be impossible. You only had one shot. I wasn't supposed to exist after that. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Twinch? That sounds so familiar. It won't turn on. Hey there! Hope you enjoyed our journey through the world of One Shot. Editing these videos for YouTube takes quite a bit of time, so I'd like to take a moment to thank all of the people that helped make this possible. If you'd like to help out too, consider pitching in a couple bucks via Patreon, link below. Also, if you enjoyed One Shot as much as I did, consider buying a copy of the game to help support the developers. In any case, I hope to see you back here soon, when we have a chance to delve deeper and see what else this game has in store for us.